What's going down, YouTube? This is Barnon 11970 and as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. Alright guys, when I made a couple of videos uh, a couple of days ago talking about Bitcoins, um, there were a couple of things I got wrong. And because of the fact that I really do want my integrity intact, when I make a mistake, I'm not afraid to admit it and correct it. And if, you, if people saw the original videos when, for example, I said that Bitcoin is a fiat currency, I ended up finding out I was mistaken about that. It is, by definition, not a fiat currency. Um, I also was, and I was told several hundred times, that the comment that I made about Bitcoins only being up to 21 million, and I blame that on uh, Max Kaiser because he's the one that said that, he did not inform that it could be divisible, well, I corrected that as well. Now, there is one thing that I actually got right that is crucial to Bitcoins, and I was killed for this statement. I had many people tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, and I was wrong. Well, I have an article that I was given to me by one of my subscribers late last night, but uh, I already made about four or five videos last night, so I didn't want to do any more, so I waited till today, which is very important, and I wonder how many people who um, were saying I was absolutely wrong would actually admit they might have been wrong. And that was the part where I said, the reason that things like Bitcoin, which has a good idea, in other words, like I said, I understand why people have it, or they wanted it, because they're trying to get away from the Fed and trying to use alternative currencies. I get that. But the reason I said it was doomed, and any other kind of um, monetary system that tries to go against the U.S. dollar is doomed to fail, is because the government will not allow anything to destroy the U.S. dollar. Like I said, they destroyed Gaddafi, they killed JFK, they don't allow things to get in the way of the U.S. dollar. And I said they would either regulate it, stop it, or find a way to get their hand in it. And it looks like that's exactly what's about to happen. And um, I will post a link on this article, and I'll skip down a little bit to the more important parts. But the title of this article is, The U.S. Begins Regulating Bitcoin. We'll apply money laundering rules to virtual transactions. So let me skip down a little bit and just give you the basically the heart of this uh, article, and you could read the rest for yourself. The WSJ reports that the U.S. is applying money laundering rules to virtual currencies amid growing concerns that new forms of cash bought on the Internet are being used to fund illicit activities. The move means that the firms that issue or exchange the increasingly popular online cash will now be regulated in a similar matter as traditional money order providers such as Western Union. They would have new bookkeeping requirements and mandatory reporting for transactions of more than $10,000. Moreover, firms that receive legal tender in exchange for online currencies or anyone conducting a transaction on someone else's behalf would be subject to new scrutiny, said proponents of Internet currencies. And just like that, there goes a major part of the allure of all those virtual currencies such as Bitcoin that consumers had turned to and away from such rapidly devaluing units of exchange as the dollar and euro. Because if there was one medium of exchange that was untouched, unregulated, and unmediated by the U.S. government and other authoritarian despotic re regimes, uh, despotic, I'm not sure what that is, but hey, you know, can't get everything right, around the insolvent developed world, it was precisely transactions involving Bitcoin. That is no longer the case, as the bloodhound of the Federal Reserve has now turned its attention towards Bitcoin and will not stop until it crashes both its value to end users and its utility in yet another attempt to force the USD and other fiat upon global consumers as the only forms of allowed legal tender. All right, guys, I'm going to stop it right there. I, Like I said, I will post the link. You can read it if you want. You could ignore it. You can get angry at me for being the messenger. I understand that. It's very easy to do that. But like I said, guys, United States of America Corporation and the banks around the world are not going to allow a competing currency while they're in power to take over the dollar, the euro, or any other paper currency. I understand why people want to get into Bitcoins. They want to try and break away from the system. But the people that really thought that the government would just sit there, say, oh, I guess they got us. There's nothing we can do about it. 
I'm sorry, but you were being delusional. So what does this mean for the future of Bitcoins? Well, I guess that really remains to be seen, but the allure of a currency that the government can't touch is being exposed rather quickly. So how will that affect the prices? Remains to be seen, but I'll tell you this much. If you thought Bitcoins was going to be this new currency that would defeat the world, you were listening to a lot of snake oil salesmen who probably profited a lot of fiat currency to sell you the Bitcoins. So what you do with them is totally up to you. I'm not going to suggest what you do with them. I'm just giving you information. What you do with it is up to you. If you want to hate me because of whatever reason, just because I'm the messenger of the bad news, I am very happy to take that from you. But realize, guys, I'm here to try and help people. I don't always get everything right. I don't always do things perfectly. It just shows I'm just as human as the next person. But my intentions is to try and help people. So what you do from here is totally up to you. I only ask that if you don't like what I do, please be respectful. Educate us. Don't just name call and act like a five-year-old not the best way for us to all get along and be able to communicate with unity. So with that being said, thank you for reading. Have a great day and stack your fiscal gold and silver. Peace.